Hello everyone, this is Umair Hassan and today we are going to start lecture number 7 of CSS uh, GSA lecture series. Uh, well, you can have my previous lectures in the playlist. If you haven't subscribed the channel, uh, subscribe it so that you can have uh, the lectures that are forthcoming as well as those I have given previously. Today the topic is uh, very important, rounding of numbers, one of the topic uh, in your CSS uh, GSA syllabus. So rounding of numbers, what we are going to study today about it, we are going to study how to round off, how to round off a number, a decimal number to nearest whole number, this nearest whole number. Then <clears throat> we are going to study about uh, uh, how to round off a number, how to round off uh, a number, probably a decimal number, to a given number of decimal places. When it is mentioned that round off to this number of decimal places, then we need to do what and then round off to give a number of significant figures to give a number of significant figures so these three things we are going to learn briefly okay so starting from how to round off uh, uh, decimal number to nearest whole number. So let us take a question about it. So question number one. Well, round of sixty-six point seven six four seven to nearest whole number. Okay. Well, 66.7647 uh, is a number which is to be converted into a whole number but to nearest whole number. You have different approaches for this part. Write down 66.7647 and observe this digit. Now, this digit is 7 which is uh, greater than 5. And if this digit is greater than 5 or equal to 5, then the digit over here which is at unit place is to be increased by 1, this one. So now the answer will become 67 after increasing it by 1 because this digit is 7 greater than 5. So your whole number, nearest whole number is 67 nearest to this one. You can uh, approach this question in a second way as well. 66 point, well I am writing over here, 66.7647 well this is in between two whole number 66 67 and if you draw a number line then the middle one is 66.5 the middle number the middle value of 66 and 67 is 66.5 now if any of the number lies in the range over here that is 66.5 or more than 66.5 so you will round it off to this one 67 so 66.7 is basically falling in this range so you have to round it off to 67 this is one type of question that is asked in rounding off and you may need to round off your answers uh, working in different questions uh, to whole numbers see they demand that in question the next part is rounding of a number to given number of decimal places. Now, what, what is this about? Let me explain it. That is 
कंसिडर द सेम एग्जाम्पल नो आई विल चेंज द स्टेटमेंट ओनली क्वेश्चन रिमेन्स द सेम राउंड ऑफ सिक्सटी सिक्स पॉइंट सेवन सिक्स फोर सेवन टू नंबर वन थ्री डेसीमल प्लेसिस एंड नंबर टू वन डेसीमल प्लेस ओके नो वी हैव फोर नंबर आफ्टर द डेसीमल पॉइंट हेयर सिक्सटी सिक्स पॉइंट सेवन सिक्स फोर सेवन वी हैव फोर डिजिट्स आफ्टर द डेसीमल एंड वेन वी हैव टू रेस्ट्रिक्टेड टू थ्री डेसीमल प्लेसिस टू मार्क अ लाइन वेयर यू हैव थर्ड डेसीमल this is first number after decimal second and third because we have to restrict it up to three decimal then this one is to be dropped this is the following digit and if this one is greater than or equal to 5 then you are going to increase the previous digit by 1 the same rule as explained in the previous question so you are going to write it as 66.764 is no increase because this is 7 greater than 5 or equal even if it is equal to 5 increase it however somewhere is explained there is there is to be chosen between a even number or odd number however consider here that if it is greater than equal to 5 increase this one by 1 this will become 66.765 So this is answer up to three decimal. This is the answer for for this one. What about part number two? Write down your question. Sixty six point seven six four seven. Now for one decimal, this is your limit. You need to give your answer up till here. so when you are going to drop this one this digit is to be dropped along with the other one now this one is greater than 5 so increase the previous one by 1 so your answer will be 66.8 because 7 will be increased by 1 this is your answer now this is answer up to one decimal place one decimal place this is okay now moving towards this one concept of significant figures very important one and a very easy one now first of all first of all let me explain what is significant concept of significant figures well that is related to the precision of a measurement or accurately known digits one of the concept says this about it now how many significant figures are there in a particular digit well we have some rules rule number 1 and then we will be having one question rule number 1 i am on significant figures well rule says all non zero digits are significant that is 1 2 4 9 all non zero they are significant rule number 2 rule zeros between non zero digits are also considered as significant and the example is 707 the zero between non zero numbers no it is significant rule number 3 uh well leading zeros leading zeros are not significant
how you are going to interpret this one 007 leading zeros leading zeros zeros before a non zero number they are not significant 0 0.000008 leading zeros that are zeros before a non zero number not significant okay and the last rule is I am going to rub that one because I don't want to rub the rules over here the last rule is the last one is well that is the one you need to understand that is the one where you need to think what about trailing zeros rule number four trailing zeros well they are zeros like this one 700 okay let me know here you have one significant figure here you have three The reason is that the trading zero means zero after a non-zero number, after number, after non-zero number, more specifically. Now these zeros are not significant. Here they are not. We have one significant figure. So these are not significant. Reason is that you don't have a decimal. Here you have got a point. Here you don't have a point. So if there is a point. If there is a decimal in your question, then zeros after a non-zero number, they are significant. And if you don't have a decimal, they are not to be counted as significant like 8800. Zero, zero. Too significant, only these two, they are not. While 8.00. 8 zero, zero. Now we have four significant because there is a decimal, so this will be counted. These are the rules for significant figures. Now let us take an example how you have to express your answer in a particular number of significant figures okay let me write over here i have space if the same question where is my question okay i have rubbed that if for example i ask you to round off 1.7647 to 3 significant figures what will be the process well first of all how many significant figures we have we have four no five one two three four five non-zero numbers mean numbers other than zero so they are significant numbers are significant non-zero numbers so we have five significant right here and what i want i want three so the last two will be compromised and because this digit up till here I have to restrict myself the following digit if it is less than 5 your answer won't change. If it is less than 5 answer will not change you will not increase this by 1 to 1.76 so is your answer. No, we have 3 significant right here. So rules are same we have to apply this concept of significant figure is explained here this is the topic to rounding off okay one more thing is here i think that is uh, the concept of uh, rounding off to the nearest 10 to the nearest 100 to the nearest thousand well let me explain that in a, in a bit so what about that round off to the nearest 10 round off well to nearest 10 to round off okay uh, suppose 213 to nearest 10 so basically 213 is between 210 
and 220 and the middle number is 215 and 213 comes somewhere over here. Now this range is to be rounded off to 210. So the rounding of 213 to nearest 10 is 210. Similarly, same question for nearest 100. Round of 213 to nearest 1000. Oh, sorry, 100. So 213 lies between 200, 200 and 300 and in between them we have 250, the middle point. And if your number is below before the middle point in this section, so you are going to round it off to 200. So 213 will be rounded off to 200 if you have rounded off to the nearest 100. So this is the concept. I have explained them very briefly. So if you have any query, you can comment. Thank you so much.